hello aquarius i missed you guys aquarius i hope you're doing great it's saturday morning where i am i hope you're gonna have a beautiful relaxing weekend with your loved ones aquarius you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies <clears throat> between you and your soulmate first we're gonna ask what's coming towards you aquarius what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey second part of this video we're going to ask about your soulmate whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they're thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you aquarius universe please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aquarius, for Aquarius highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Aquarius in their life? And how is Aquarius currently doing on this soulmate journey? What's coming towards Aquarius in their life? And how is Aquarius currently doing on the soulmate journey? This one is screaming at me to come out for some reason. <clears throat> oh, Aquarius, you love somebody deeply. You want to express your uh, love to that person. You want to express it. Uh, but it looks like there has been a lot of misunderstandings uh, between you two. And you feel like you two need to make up. Yeah, you want to reconcile with this person because you love them deeply. Yeah, you see, you're not sure what to do. If you need to reach out or wait for them, if it's possible or not. This is you feeling unbalanced, not certain what to do. Yeah, you see, you're not taking action. You're scared of taking action. Not knowing what it is they're thinking, feeling, wanting, planning. You know, please show us uh, what's coming towards Aquarius in their life and how is Aquarius currently doing on this soulmate journey. Yeah, this, you have a lot of responsibilities at your job or business draining you, your energy. Yeah, you see, this is you. So one of you or both of you made serious uh, errors, mistakes in this connection, and you feel like there has to be something to, uh, like something needs to happen where the two of you can apologize. Uh, whether you apologize to them, they apologize to you, or you apologize to each other. Uh, it's almost certain that both of you make errors. We all make them. We all make errors and mistakes, but that's how we learn, grow from errors and mistakes. As long as we learn from them and don't continuously repeat them, it's all good. We all make errors and mistakes. So it looks like uh, some of you feel deep regret, guilt, heartbreak uh, for the mistakes that were made in this connection. Yeah, you love this person a lot. You see, the highest level of emotional fulfillment, joy, happiness. Yeah, look at this. Two of Cups. You guys are very connected. So they feel what you feel for them. You see, they feel love, connection with you. Some changes, major changes going on in your life. Uh, some of those changes have to do with your work. Uh, not so much the work itself, but the people that you work with. This person of yours, it looks like they really disappointed you numerous times. Um, you showing up as very mature, uh, consistent, grounded, reliable. They showing up as uh, wishy-washy in and out of your life, you see. Uh, like they came back uh, numerous times with the same energy. Hmm. You view yourself as single, available. You're not in a relationship with this person at this time. They respect you greatly. Uh, you're showing up as the minor arcana of the Empress energy. Holding your own, very independent, intelligent, strategic, analytical. Wow, you really want to see this person. You, want, you love them, even though uh, you feel like they, they made some serious mistakes in this connection with you. Um, you, re you realize they're not doing it on purpose. They just mishandled or misjudged the situation. This is you not knowing what to do with this person anymore. You see, look at this. You're trying to look at everything fairly and objectively. Make just decisions. 
uh, trying to figure out what it is they feel in thinking, trying to understand their point of view. Yeah, you see, look at this. This is you not knowing. Yeah, you see, you feel trapped. You feel uh, like you're unable to move, to take action. Yeah, you see, you are at a crossroads. This is you being very indecisive, not knowing if this is truly over or not. You love this person a lot. What a connection the two of you have. The best card in the whole deck, the sun. A lot of you are dealing with the Leo, also Pisces. But no matter what sign they are or gender they are, it shows that you feel enormous connection spiritually, emotionally with them. And they feel it with you as well. So this is mutual. It's not just one-sided. Let's see what's going on with this person. Oh my gosh. So they feel, in fact, a lot of guilt, regret, heartbreak. Yeah, this is them suffering in silence. You know, we show us the soulmate of Aquarius. The soulmate of Aquarius. What is going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius? And how is the soulmate of Aquarius currently relating to Aquarius, especially emotionally and what's on the mind? Let's see, Aquarius, your soulmate. Yeah, look at this. This is them quiet, silent, not wanting to show how deeply heartbroken they are. This, this person feels a lot of heartbreak. Yeah, they silent about it. They don't want to show how emotionally vulnerable they feel in this situation. They don't like to express feelings. Yeah, they're holding on to you for dear life, not letting you go. This person loves you deeply. Yeah, you see, this is them hoping, praying, wishing to be back in your life. Yeah, see, they're holding back on this communication for some reason. They want so badly to communicate with you, but the Ace of Swords is pointing down in both cards. So it shows that this person is scared of reaching out, but at the same time, uh, they feel a great need to clear the air with you. They're hoping, praying, wishing to hear from you. And they're checking up on you quite regularly, curious how you're doing, what's going on in your life. Uh, they're comparing you to other people, and they realize they're only interested in you. Universe, please show us uh, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius, and how is the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time? Yeah, you see, this is them trying to daydream, imagine what's going to happen. Yeah, you see, they know they are at a crossroads. This is serious, and they're going to have to make a wise decision based on their sound judgment, logic, intellect. They don't want to be swayed by their emotions. They want to make the right decision on how to approach this correctly. See, they silent, quiet, uh, heartbroken. This is them trying to heal from this heartbreak they've been feeling. Yeah. This person wants to take action towards you. They do. They want to take action. They're just scared of your rejection. Yeah, you see, what they really want to do is see you face to face under good circumstances. Laugh with you. Spend time with you. Socialize with you. I love Three of Cups. They love you a lot. A lot of love. They, they realize, you see, look at this. This is them. Their eyes are wide open, even though... They have a blindfold in front of their eyes. It's sheer. They're able to see clearly uh, this situation for what it is. What stops them is their fear of being rejected by you. They love you deeply. They realize that the love they feel for you is deep, genuine love, not some temporary crush that they're feeling. Oh, my gosh. The tower moment. They didn't expect to be so connected with you emotionally and spiritually. They realized that after this breakup, this connection from you, how deeply connected they are with you. And when you add these cups, uh, it shows that this person faults themselves for losing you. Um, they blame themselves. This is them having deep regrets, heartbreaks, thinking you're done with them, like they lost you for good. Yeah, again, you see, five of cups. Three and two is five of cups, and here's five of cups. This person feels deep regret, heartbreak, sadness. Mm, this is serious. This is serious. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. You, they, this is them checking up on you. Universe, please show us uh, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aquarius, and how's the soulmate of Aquarius towards Aquarius at this time? 
Yeah, you see, this is them, frozen in fear, not knowing what to do. Oh, they're missing you like crazy. They're missing you a lot. They feel sad, empty, neglected, rejected. Yeah, you see, they know they're going to have to take action. They know. Yeah, you see, they're spying on you, checking up on you, viewing you as very attractive, strong-willed, married material. independent wise yeah they in love this person's in love with you they love you deeply yeah hmm aquarius we're gonna go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmates true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you what they planning at this time long term for you <clears throat> then we're gonna ask what they hiding from you currently what they have up their sleeve whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're gonna ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmates new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know <clears throat> they show it at the end of the reading as well so aquarius click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys